In the next few slides, I'm going to be showing some EEGs. And this time I have displayed the clarity output in the bottom of the page. In this particular case, the entire recording is 5 hours, 16 minutes, 20 seconds, as it's shown in the top left. In this particular patient, there is no epileptiform activity or seizures. Hence, the clarity output is flat and in the green zone. In this particular case, as you are noticing, the clarity output is flat, green, no seizures have been detected, and for the most part, the waveforms from left hemisphere resemble the ones from right hemisphere. You see that the prevalent waveform is in the slow domain, in 1 to 7 hertz range, and that is why this is the case of a diffuse slowing. Now you are seeing somebody else's EEG. This EEG is 6 hours, 9 minutes, 12 seconds long. And you are seeing that the clarity output is quite concerning. This is the case where we need further attention right away. Pay attention to how the discharges in the right hemisphere are sharply contoured, periodic and rhythmic discharges, and at times evolving. This is another concerning case. While the patterns are kind of periodic, they come and go, yet at times they are too fast. With that, I mean three discharges per second. That is usually concerning. Yet there is no evolving pattern. There is no seizure per se, but these waveforms are just too fast. There are too many discharges per unit of time. That's why I have labeled this as highly epileptiform pattern, not clearly a seizure. But again, this is a case where I personally would have treated with prophylactic anti-seizure medication. Now another case that starts with highly epileptiform patterns, but then it goes into a seizure. As you see from the clarity output, throughout the 1 hour 38 minutes 48 seconds of the EEG, for the most part, the output is green, meaning the patient is not having seizures. But at the end, you will appreciate how these waveforms become evolving, more sharply contoured, more epileptiform, and hence seizure. Here you will see the buildup of seizure activity, which also becomes generalized to both sides of the brain, and this is the case of a status epilepticus. In this particular patient, you see the clarity output is very concerning from get-go. Right after the recording starts, you will see that the left hemisphere is showing continuous seizure activity, and that is when Clarity algorithm detects it, measures it, and that is why the line graph in the bottom of the page is trending upward, meaning that the burden of seizure activity is going up. Another case of a patient with seizures building on the left hemisphere and clarity is correctly detecting it and marking it over 90% seizure burden.